Hey there, I'm in Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, more specifically, Marble Canyon, Arizona. And more specifically than that, I'm at the historic Navajo Bridges. There's two of them, um, and I'm gonna go check these out. And now I'm gonna go into the visitor center. There's a Navajo weaving board, and here are some dinosaur tracks. And that's the entire visitor center. This visitor center does have some really cool Puebloan style architecture. The Civilian Conservation Corps built all this from 1938 to 1941. And this is an over 50 year old monument to Lee's Ferry. Lee's Ferry was, for a very long time before this bridge was constructed, pretty much the only place where you could cross the Colorado River. Um, it was settled by a crazy Mormon convict with all of his wives. Um, and the ruins are a couple miles up the road, but I don't have time to go see them. And this is a plaque in honor of Warren Marshall Johnson, who was sent by the LDS Church with all of his wives to operate Lee's Ferry. You know, I've noticed going to all sorts of Mormon historic sites in Utah and Idaho, they really like their polygamy, just saying. <laughs> and apparently this Marble Canyon Lodge was nearby. It opened in 1929. So as you can see, there are two almost identical bridges next to each other. This is the new Navajo Bridge, and cars can go on it. Um, and it is 909 feet from where I am to the end, and it's 470 feet above the Colorado River. This one is the historic 1928 Navajo Bridge. It's 834 feet long, and it's 467 feet above the Colorado. The bridge is on the National Register of Historic Places. And I'm now walking on the Navajo Bridge over the Colorado River. Look at that, isn't that awesome? long fall. And this is the Colorado River flowing north. I mean it's flowing downstream, but that's the general direction of north. When this original bridge opened in 1928, it was the third highest bridge in North America. I wonder if you could bungee jump off this. I think arch span bridges are Probably my favorite type of bridge after historic suspension bridges, especially over canyons like this. Like, this is so cool. Also, if you keep following this river, you'll eventually hit the Grand Canyon. It's interesting to think of all of the thousands, if not millions, of people who have passed in my footsteps here over the past nine years. And this is a plaque for the Navajo who are here. And now I have walked across to the other side. The area I'm in is part of the Navajo Nation. All over these areas popular with the Chinese, they have these signs on all the toilets. 